this fucking thing just decides to do whatever it wants, you know? What? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> second time. Second try. Third try? Second? No, second. Second try. I'm okay. Yeah. Yeah. Second trimester. Um, what's up, everyone? It's the House of I podcast. It's been a second since we've done this. Um, <clears throat> we've been quite busy uh, trying to book shows and shit. So yeah, yeah, and I've been playing FIFA. So yeah, and Ellie's been fucking around, not doing jack shit. Nothing at all. But uh, yeah, um, you know, I basically had to fucking uh, tie my fucking laces up and put Ellie in her place and you know. play FIFA with me. <laughs> <laughs> Help her out. <laughs> Start whooping some ass, <laughs> even though we lost last night. Um. The last podcast that we did was with my boy, Brad Hampson, um, and we spoke about depression and stuff like that. Uh, I felt like it was a pretty nice conversation, and I hope it helped anyone out there that might be feeling down. Um, yeah, it just, it was a pretty intense conversation, I felt. Um, we got pretty real on it. If you didn't listen to it, go check that shit out. It's on our YouTube page. Link is in the description. It's, yep, the link will be in the dis- in the description. Um but anyway, um, uh, I guess the, the the couple things that I wanted to talk about um, were tour. Um, mainly, I guess it was mainly tour and what we've been up to since the last time we spoke on a podcast together. And um, I just finished a tour with Jordan Esker and 100% where I played bass. And we went to North Carolina, South Carolina. Yes. And then back to North Carolina. No, we did South Carolina, and then we did two oh, gigs yeah. in North Carolina. And you just stayed in North Carolina. Yeah. And uh, it was nice, man. I'll be honest. It was interesting to play bass because I'd never done that before. And although some of you that might not be musicians, that you might think that it's easier to play bass because it's four strings rather than six strings, it is actually the contrary um you have to really focus on the rhythm and really focus on the drums for example so you can't just play bass how you would play a guitar for example you have to it's it's obviously it's more single note driven so you have to really know what you're doing to in order for it to sound good basically you can't just fuck around like you can on guitar not to say that guitar is easier per se but you know it's not easy to play bass as well or play bass well is what I'm trying to say, but, um, it was fun, I don't necessarily know how well I did, I think I did okay, um, considering the fact that it was my first time, um, but I had really, I had a lot of fun, and, um, although the first two nights weren't exactly super successful, um, it was still a good experience, and I met some cool people, I listened to some cool music, also learned of a couple of locals out there that actually enjoyed their music. Uh, and the last night that we played at Petra's, uh, it was actually uh, pretty, it was a, not, not, I don't want to say it sold out, but it was quite packed. So that was cool. And it was a pretty, it was the first venue that I've been to that had a green room, which was pretty cool. So we hung out there for a little bit and spoke to, to one of the bands, Ahakoma. Shout out to them. They were fucking cool. Um, but it was a, it was a cool, it was a cool experience. I'd never been to North Carolina before, at least to my memory. And, um, <laughs> and I've been, but, uh, I was don't too remember. young. Yeah. I might've been too young. Um, I don't think I've ever been though, but yeah, it was just really pretty, you know, mountains and stuff like that. I like that a lot. Mountains are nice. Mountains are very cool. Especially being from Florida where we have done. Yeah. Yeah, the first the first night or the first day that we got up to South Carolina it was like really gloomy, and I was like, oh, I'm not really digging this too much. But uh, but then I think the next day and the day afterwards, it got sunnier, so it was actually kind of nice. And 
I was like, okay, this is nice. It was cold as well. It was like in the 40s. So it was cool. Um, and uh, did I tell you? Did I tell you about... We you didn't tell me anything. <laughs> I told you about the Airbnb, right? That we slept at. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So for the listener... So we <laughs> the one listener <laughs> for the one listener. So the first night, I think yeah, I was in South Carolina. We uh, Jordan got us an Airbnb, and um, I've done that before with them, for example. But it was at a it was a house, and the house was for us. So there was no one in the house. It was almost like a hotel, but it was a house. I'm sure some of you are familiar with Airbnb. But anyways, this was a different scenario. So after we performed on, after we performed in South Carolina. We, I think we left at like, it was late, it was probably like 1 or 2 o'clock because we went out afterwards as well, after the show, and I think we hung out. Yeah, we went to go eat, we went to a bar, ended up talking to an English, no, to a Welsh. Yes, he was from Ooh, from Wales. Right. Yeah, he was from Wales. I think he was in the Welsh Navy. That's yeah. a thing? I think so. <laughs> that's, no, that's bad. Um... But it was, <laughs> he was quite Welsh. <laughs> Could he, you understand him? Uh, it was kind of hard. Like, it reminded me of Mark, one of... But worse, or...? Uh, no, Mark is worse. Mark and is Mark, worse. if no one, no one, I mean, I doubt, whatever. Uh, but Mark is a, a Scottish uh, guy that we know that plays soccer with us. And he is very hard to understand. You have to ask him, what, like, at least three times? Yeah, it's least. pretty funny. Like making, well, we like making fun of him for it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, there, there's been plenty of times that um, I end a conversation with him not knowing what he said. Just yeah. nod. Like, mm hmm. Yep. Um, whatever that was. <laughs> but anywho, Welsh dude bar. Yeah. So he, he ended got... up uh, just starting a conversation with Jordan because we were ordering food or whatever. And um, he, yeah, he was talking about how he was just stationed in North Carolina for a little bit. And, you know, uh, I don't. I'm the trying to. Welsh re- Army has people stationed in North Carolina. The Navy. Welsh Navy. Yeah, I That's think they were just stopping in places. I don't really know. I might be. I mean, I t- totally could be wrong. Maybe I don't he know. He told you some secret stuff he shouldn't have told you. Now we're gonna die. Maybe. I mean. We shouldn't have. Probably said that. not though, because there are a bunch of pussies over there <laughs> oh anyway. Oh my god. <laughs> but he was a super cool. He was super cool. Um, you know, I, I think, you know, me and, and like, I'm super intrigued by anyone outside of my own culture and, you know, country and whatnot. So I was asking him like questions about the difference between, you know, Americans and people from the UK and from, from Wales and stuff like that. Is Wales in the UK? Yes. Okay. So people from the UK and, um, I don't remember what he said, to be honest, cause I was <laughs> under the influence, but I know it was a cool conversation and so that night so that night we leave at like I said we leave at like two in the morning we had we, we were driving to our Airbnb and, and uh we're just like it's super dark I have no idea where we're going because you've never we start, been there before we start driving into a suburb I'm like what the fuck is going on right now an Airbnb in a suburb makes sense it's it I guess yeah but it was like one of those, like one of those Airbnb, uh, one of those suburbs that every, every, almost every house kind of looks the same. That's yeah, that's yeah, usually that's the a case. suburb. That's usually what a suburb is. Okay, yeah. but anyway, so we get there and it's really quiet. It's really dark, and we're trying to be quiet. And I'm like, so what's the deal? What's the deal with this Airbnb? Is it around the back or something like that? He's like, no, 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 no. They're there. These people are here. And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? So you walk in through the front door. You walk in through the front door. And the first thing I see to my left is a fucking room with model cars. Now, you see that when you're under the influence. That looks pretty it's dark badass. outside. And you're just like, this person's going to kill me tonight. Because they do model cars? Yeah. Well, I'm talking about a room designated for model cars. That's pretty crazy. Is that where you guys stayed? <laughs> no, that would have been cool, though. But so, okay, so we do that, right? And then we, so to, so we walk in the door to the left is this room with all the model cars and stuff like that. And then we had to go upstairs, which was literally, literally right, right to the right of the door, basically. So we had to walk upstairs and then go to a room all the way in the back of the house. 
and be quiet because there's people sleeping there and you can hear them snoring and shit like that. So we go into this room that's our room, a room designated for all four of us. And uh, <laughs> the so you go in and the first thing you see is literally the fucking British flag, like a British flag wallpaper in the, in the room. And the room is, like, filled with, uh, you know, uh, frames of bands and stuff like that. It's just, like, kind of, like, band, like, photography and stuff like that. That's funny. Like, classic bands. If any bands want an Airbnb, we have to shove them Uh, in that room. (laughs) It was weird. It looked like a kid's room, basically. There was two beds. And, uh, yeah, it was just a little weird. I was kind of scared. I'm not going to lie. I thought we were going to get murdered. But we didn't. Or did you? Maybe I'm dead right now. Yeah, it's true. It's totally possible. Maybe they just burned the whole house down. Maybe. But. That's weird, man. Like, if someone says four people, you're really going to be like, yeah, sure, a room. I mean, unless Jordan knew that and said yes. Yeah, he definitely did. There was two beds, too, so it wasn't that big of a deal. But, um. No uh, blow-up mattress. No. But there was a bathroom right outside to the left as well. So, basically, it was just like, you know, sleep there and then wake up in the morning and take a shower. And then we left in the morning. And the guy was nice, actually, so I wouldn't even mind going over there again <laughs> if we end up playing there. Because um, it wasn't it really wasn't that bad at all. So, but I, I mean, it's a little, I guess it's a little awkward. Like, I would rather have our own space, you know, to fuck around and be loud and be silly or whatever. Oh, yeah. I mean, especially if no one wanted to go to sleep. Yeah. You know, Which we I'm did, sure. though. We were tired yeah, as fuck. Yeah, I can imagine. But so that was the first night and whatever we survived that uh, <laughs> second night after we finished playing uh, <laughs> the ho- we, we try to look for a hotel and I and you know I mentioned that I was down to split it or whatever and all the guys were like no 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 let's just <laughs> let's just save the money and sleep in the van mind you it is like 35 40 degrees outside I think it was probably 30 degrees outside and uh, i was like all right whatever let's do it so we fucking we, we the way the way it even happened was that we pulled up to a hotel to see what the rates were because their online stuff was down or some shit like that so we couldn't figure out what the the nightly rate was going to be so we pulled up to a days in and jordan went out and he asked the guy and it was too expensive so the guy was like hey don't worry about it just park your van in the parking lot and you won't, you won't, you know, you can just sleep in the van. So we did that. And I'm not going to lie. It was kind of rough. <laughs> did he like at least turn on the heat for a little bit? No. Oh, you see, that's the key. Turn yeah. on the car, you heat, you let the car get really it's the toasty. Gas. It's the gas though. Yeah. You let the car get toasty inside and then you turn it off. Yeah. But it, and then I, it, it'll hold. I don't think so. Yeah, it'll be at least better. Maybe. At least you could just knock out. For a little out. bit. You could just knock out at least. And then. No, nah, it was weird. Sleep. It, it, it was like super uncomfortable. Oh, like regardless of the temperature? Yeah. And it makes sense. It's a fucking van. Yeah, yeah. It's not meant for that. It's not meant for... Like unless I could drop drop the back seat, but I can't. So what, you slept, equipment sit, you slept sitting? Sitting up, yeah. Like in an airplane, basically. <laughs> Which I can never fall asleep on an airplane. So regardless of the fact that it's flying and I hate flying, but just sitting up is like the hardest the hardest way to fall asleep. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, so we did that and we, you know, whatever, we got through it. I didn't really get to, I didn't really, I'll be honest, I didn't really sleep too much, but how did I survive that? I think, (laughs) I think it was probably on the drive, on the drive to, to the next, to the next city, which was like three hours away or some shit like that. I think I slept on the way over there, but, um, and then that, like I said, that night was pretty dope. But regardless, you know, I, I got to know everyone a little more and it was really cool. Um, no, there was like no problems at all at any point. It was never awkward. It was never weird. And we were all just kind of on the same page for the most part with, uh, with everything really. It was just really chill. So if, uh, if you're a musician and you're listening to this and you haven't gone on tour yet, you should definitely do it because it's really fun, man. It's, it's a weird sensation. We went, we went to a coffee shop, I think in South Carolina it was in the middle, you know, it was like 10 in the morning, 11 in the morning or something. We were basically getting ready to, we were just getting breakfast to get on our way to the next city or the next state rather. And 
I just, I just, like, I, I, I just stopped and I go, you know what's really cool about this, man, is that we're sitting here, we were outside, we're sitting here, and I'm looking at all these cars, and these cars are getting ready to go to work, we're, f- we're here right now, we're sitting here, we're getting fucking delicious coffee, eating breakfast, and we're about to go play a show later tonight, you know, it was just like, that's such a cool feeling, you know? You would say some fucking queer shit like that. Yeah. But I meant it, and they were like, yeah, man, they got it, you know? And that's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. That that would be a pretty pretty awesome life, you know? Just completely just completely different from, from everyone else's life, you know? Just while everyone's at work, you're doing whatever the fuck you want, you know? It's pretty cool. That would be uh, ideal. Yeah. But... Basically, to wrap it up with the tour and all, it was fun. And we are planning another one. House of I is planning a tour, uh, kind of two mini tours, or one one mini tour and then, well, I guess they're both technically mini tours, but one is in Florida, or we're at least looking in Florida, and then the second one would be out of Florida, out of state, yeah. in North Carolina, South Carolina, and Which Georgia. Would be the first time that we did that, that we do that. Yeah. Which I'm very excited for. And, um, yeah, so we'll keep you updated with that. The only dates that we have so far that we've booked are uh, Atlanta, uh, the 23rd of February, and Jacksonville, the 8th, at Rain Dogs. And I don't know what the venue is in Atlanta. I forget. Do you remember? Mm, No, and uh, February 11th. Yeah, but... uh, And St. Augustine. Oh, look, who's calling? Let's see if I can... Hello? Hey. What's up? You called me earlier, no? Yeah, I did. How's it going? Oh, okay. Uh, we're re- we're recording the podcast right now. You're on the podcast. Oh, how cool! Yeah. <laughs> hey, guy. <laughs> it's my mom. If you guys remember the other, <laughs> the other, uh, the other, I guess podcast that we did with her, we talked a bunch of shit. <laughs> yeah, cool. They were they were barely a, a strict mom. <laughs> yep, that's right. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> um, yeah, I was just calling you about the Puerto Rico thing, but uh, do you have anything cool to say for the for the people? Uh, what's the theme? Uh, well, I was just talking about being on tour. And then right. we're, we were just kind of going to, we were going to go over the stuff that we've been doing, you know, booking and whatnot, and just, I guess, holidays as well, talking about like, our holiday. And then that was it. We were just kind of, we, we just wanted to put something out there to, to fucking, you know, let people know that we're still alive, basically. All right, all right. Well, I think everybody at some point in their life needs to sleep inside a car. So, yeah. Uh, Next yeah. Okay. Which I did, and I mentioned. Sleep, I just finished sleep, mentioning that actually. Sleep, no sex. By the way, sleep, not sex. Sleep, sleep, sleep. <laughs> actually, sleep, spend the night. Or both. <laughs> Wait, what did what did you say? Sleep, not sex. I said oh. To sleep, not to have sex. <laughs> You're funny, dude. You are yeah. funny. But um, but yeah, uh, I will call you back. All right. All right. Say hello to Annie. Bye-bye. Okay. I love you. Love you too. All bye. right. Bye. And there you guys have it. My mom. Talking about sex. Once again, talking about sex. Jesus Look at her. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah. Where did we leave off? I don't know. Oh, our, our, our thing. Um, no, I, I mean, touring is um, it's interesting because, I mean, it has its... It has its moments where it's like you kind of like, at least for me, it has its moments where you do want to go back home, you know, and, uh, you know, my, my goal when I tour is try to make it as comfortable as possible so that you never have that moment of, I want to go home, you know, and make it as, as enjoyable as possible, but it is what it is. And, you know, once you're, once you book the shows and some shit goes down, it's like, well, we're here, you know, we have to do this and, you know, you know, you do what you have to do. Yeah. I did notice, um, 
that I was starting to get a little anxious towards the third night. You know, if this was any, if this was a longer tour and we had more, you know, basically less time coming back home, you know, I wonder how, I wonder how I would react to that because personally for me, and I'm sure maybe you might feel the same way, but I'm, I'm not as comfortable in general. I guess, I guess with, with me, it's like, I, I need, I need, I need privacy. I need my alone time. I, and I also need to feel some sort of comfort, you know, and, uh, not that I wasn't comfortable. It's more, I don't know what it is. That's the thing I had. I don't, I don't I think maybe what it is is that uh, the feeling of a having to be almost like playing an actor, being an actor, you know, putting on a facade, not, and not necessarily for for the guys, but more for you know being in public a lot because I I do, and I think I mentioned this as well with Brad, but I do have a problem with being in public for a while. It does, it tend it just starts to give me anxiety. That's draining. Yeah. It is. Like talking to strangers and stuff like that. I'm yeah. just not good with that stuff. Yeah. No, it, it 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 is what it is. It's not something that I'm good at either. Yeah. It sucks, man, because I don't know. It's I'm just it's it's hard. It's a hard thing to get over like just being, I don't know, just being comfortable with anyone, really. This might sound I don't know what the word is, but this might sound like I'm like I don't know what I'm talking about, which is which is true, but like I don't think a tour where everything is taken care of in the sense of like housing, where I do get my own room, things like that. <clears throat> I don't feel like that would be as hard though. You know, if at if at the end of the night I had my own space to go into every single night and I could retreat from other human beings it wouldn't it wouldn't be as as draining but you know we're we're just not that band obviously you know what i mean like we we don't have those kind of um resources yeah yeah we don't have those type of resources um uh, again not like it i i don't want it to sound like you know there there are like plenty of bands who still have a problem touring who still need to keep it on a certain time frame and then go back home Mm -hmm. and then go back on the road um, and that's fine. And that would actually probably be even more comfortable, you know, if, if, if yeah. we got to the point where we could do something like that. But I, if I needed to be on the road for an entire year, as long as I had that space where I was, you know, you know, like you're saying, having, having that privacy, it would be a lot more doable. I think so too. It would be a lot yeah. more doable. I think at the end of the day, it's, but the, uh, it would be doable, but I definitely, I think I, I think I could easily find myself starting to like really feel and not from you guys at all. I wouldn't be I wouldn't feel alienated from you guys, but I think I would start feeling like almost alienated from people. Yeah. Yeah. You I know? could see myself playing the show and then going right to bed. Like those kind of things. Yeah. Which or I don't like, want to be like that, obviously. But because... it would just end up happening, I feel like. I like yeah. at least for me, like it would end up happening where, you know, maybe you guys would wanna go out and then I would just be like, I'm going yeah, like I'm, I'm, I'm going to bed. I don't know what that is though. It's, I mean, it's, it's just a form of, I guess it's a form of social anxiety or whatever. But, but yeah. So I did. I found myself feeling like that, and I got over it by just, you know, basically embracing having conversation with the boys or whatever, and and uh, trying to be present. That's like the most important thing. Is like just be present. Don't don't try and think of other things that you need to do or whatever. Yeah. Or things that you're missing because it's like, missing. yeah, it would like, for me, it would start like, I, you know, I, I want to be in my bed. Yeah. I want to be with my cat. Yeah. I want to play FIFA. You know, it'd be like all those things that are, that are home. And then that's when it would start happening. Yeah. So it'd be basically like just not thinking of those things, just being like, you fucking ungrateful bitch. You're on tour, you know? Yeah, and I feel that that is the ultimate goal, is to be on tour, and 
Should never, yeah, should never fucking feel, should never be ungrateful, first of all, that you're on tour. I mean, obviously, as things progress, you get used to it, and then normally, you'll start feeling whatever it is that you feel normally when you're not on tour or whatever, just because well, that that comes with anything, right? You, you yeah, get, it becomes you, normal. Yeah. Yeah. So I get that. But. I, I definitely um think that it takes adjusting i don't think it's something that people is it's not natural you know you know we we went from i mean just as as creatures like just humans we went from nomads moving around to to not doing that for a specific reason so it's kind of something that's been like um bred into us home you know having a home it's interesting to meet people that meet people that aren't like that it's very interesting yeah, we we've, we've met a couple of those people and yeah. They come off as very like almost like almost like they're hiding behind something, you know what I'm saying? Like they have like this this they they have this uh I don't want to say facade, but they have this impression, like they give off this impression and it doesn't seem genuine. It's not to say that it isn't genuine, it probably is. It just doesn't is. seem like it. Yeah. It just doesn't seem like it is. <clears throat> Yeah. And uh, it might, it, honestly, what it might just be is that they're in such a different state of mind than we are, you know, with their yeah. life, just because they're traveling so much. And yeah, know. like it'd be interesting to see what happens when that becomes normal, right? Is that what it is? Because that's kind of weird. I like traveling. I mean, it's it's one of my favorite things. If I had money, that's definitely what I would be spending most of my money on. Um, I think I'd have to agree with you. Yeah, like I would be out there, but at the same time. I I definitely want to come home, you know, in, into my own space and do my thing. Yeah, I don't I don't know if we ever mentioned this on the podcast, but after right after college, we went to uh, to Spain, and yeah. um, we went to Europe. That was pretty intense, you know. It was the first time that I'd been out of the United States. I think. Me too, actually. And. Um, yeah, it was, it was, I mean, the first day I remember we got, we got there to the hotel and it was nerve wracking. Like I was so tired. You were tired, but I was, I was anxious. Yeah. It was like, I just, holy I just rem- shit. Yeah. I just remember being tired and then we got there and the hotel wasn't ready. So we had to keep booking, like we had to keep moving, which we went to the aquarium afterwards, which yeah, was which, cool, which was right down the road too, yeah. which was really, really nice. And like that whole area was nice. Like the pier and things like that, um, were nice. It's funny because I like leading up to that, <clears throat> excuse me, leading up to that, I was really nervous about it. I didn't. I just didn't know what to expect, mm-hmm. and obviously I don't speak Spanish super well. Um, you know, I would say that I'm probably I'm I'm minorly fluent fluent in it. I can have conversations. I can ba- I can get by basically. Like I I okay. I know. I'm I can I'm on I'm, I'm like average, right? Would you and, agree? And I would say I mean then it was worse. Yeah. Like that's true. now I feel like you're better. Yeah true yeah um it i want to like i want to visit a bunch of places but it does make me weary to go to a place where people don't speak the same english language. or spanish yeah like i wouldn't mind doing that again though to be honest like going strange. back to another to another another spanish-speaking country yeah because it kind of forces you to it forces you to learn well, not learn well yeah learn it forces I'm you to kind of yeah, get more used yeah. to it you know yeah yeah it's like, nice. It makes your brain work that way. Like you have to find that word. <laughs> yeah. In that language. Like I felt like uh, after the after a couple of days of being there, because we were, I think we were there for three days before the cruise. Yeah, something like that. Two or three days. And like by the third day, I felt like I was getting <clears throat> more comfortable speaking Spanish, which is kind of fucking ridiculous considering that those people speak such proper, you know, Spanish and stuff like that. So. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, the the it's funny because going into it so nervous, we got there and nothing like nothing crazy happened at all. No, literally nothing. Out there was at no area. point where I felt like we were unsafe. Yeah, you know, we even went out too. We went out at night. 
we walked around and there was nothing really in Barcelona. We were in Barcelona and there was nothing crazy happening yeah, at all. No, no. It was quite quiet actually. Mm-hmm. And that that show got shut down before we got there. Yep. The noise like oh, was there like, was oh. a or- noise ordinance. Yeah. Yeah, and that was lame because yeah. we wanted to catch that obviously, but um, yeah, it got shut down. It's I fucking mean, ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. It it was it was strange because they do speak like a different Spanish, you know, like what is it called? Well, no, no, no. Like like even their Spanish Spanish was gotcha. just different, you know. But like, even there in Barcelona, though, they speak yeah. a different language oh, as well. Oh, yeah, Catalan. Catalan. Yeah, yeah. yeah which um, I think only like once or twice did someone walk up speaking um, speaking Catalan, and we were like, uh. Como esta? Yeah. <laughs> well, not you. You speak fluent Spanish. Every time I go to Spanish, like when I'm using it as an example or something, that's what I do. People are like, oh, no, transfer Elizabeth a call. She knows. She knows. I'm like, uh, no hablo español. But um, it, it, it's still different. Like, it's really fast. And they use a lot of different words for things that I'm not quite used to. Yeah. You know. Like, I have context clues, so I get what they what they mean. But I'm like, that word is weird. I would like to go back. And experience it again for the, I would like, but I would, but I think I would try to ask more questions. <laughs> like, for example, you know, I wonder what they thought of us, like what they, th- where they thought we were from, for example. They probably get so many tours, so they probably don't think about it though. Yeah, but if I was, if I was here, like if I, if I worked somewhere where there was a lot of tours coming in and I heard, a, a, you know, maybe someone speaking a, an accent in either language that I could at least understand Spanish or English. If I heard something interesting that I'd never heard before, I would definitely be wondering, where are you from? And I feel like for them, they, we weren't speaking English, which they're probably used to that. They're probably used to people speaking English, you know, tourists and whatnot, but we were speaking Spanish and I don't know how many, like, I don't know how many Cubans and Colombians go over there. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah, it's it's uh, true. It's true. Like, I can't imagine, um, do you think they? Do you think they even? Do, they probably didn't even know. They probably did what I did, and it was just context. Because like, remember that that one guy? I thought we were from there. Yeah, but we were speaking English. No, we weren't. We were speaking Spanish at first. He thought we were Spaniard, when and then he, we started speaking English. Because mm, he was Welsh. Yes. And he, and he understood. What we, he spoke English and Spanish. Yeah, because we um, were speaking to each other in English while we were just together at the. That's why table. I was saying. That's that's why I was like. We weren't speaking Spanish, but well, whenever we, whenever someone came up, though, we, we were speaking Spanish. We were speaking Spanish. Yeah. yeah, it's true, and it sucks because they say that when you're in Barcelona, it's better to speak Catalan. Yeah, but man, what the what fuck? The fuck? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna learn a whole yeah. fucking language, even though I tried. It's weird. It is weird. It's. I feel like it. It be. It's. They understand Spanish better than they understand doesn't English. Doesn't it make that? Doesn't it? Doesn't that make them a little pretentious? Like you, know, you, guess, you, probably. you fucking, you understand my Spanish. I'm clearly not from Spain, so I'm not trying to be an asshole. Because what if they don't know that though? That's the thing. But I mean, I guess if 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 someone says we look like Spaniards, which I don't buy, I don't think for so either. Yeah. yeah, I don't buy that for a second. Maybe me more than anything. I guess. Yeah. I think I actually I mean, have Spaniard in my blood. I actually. mean, not if anything. That's definitely what happened. But um, you know, if I'm clearly not from that country and I'm at least speaking the language of your country because whether or not they like it like spanish is the language i mean yeah that's what you speak Mm -hmm. um it's just like you know okay get over it move on i mean i'll you know it's the political things and stuff that are happening that that's why they feel like if if you can't speak catalan and you're there you should be speaking catalan you know yeah I didn't feel like they treated us poorly, though. Do you? I don't. Do you feel like that? No. I don't think so. Ironically enough, the one encounter I had that was bad was in Italy. It wasn't even in Spain. Yeah, which was that was interesting, right? Because we assumed that they would understand Spanish better than English, but it was actually the mm-hmm. contrary. And it, you know, obviously, it was my fault. I assumed, but you didn't. Yeah, but they didn't know though. They they assumed that you were from a Spanish speaking country, for example. They they didn't they didn't know that you were from America. They probably just no. assumed that you spoke. So she didn't say English. She just said I don't speak Spanish. She's like español. Yeah. Well, I'm, it, what I'm trying to say is like, she didn't reach like she didn't under she didn't realize that you thought 
Like she didn't understand that. Like she didn't think that you thought that she would understand Spanish better. Do you get what I'm saying? She just assumed that that was your language. Does that make sense? The way she came off, it wasn't that though. Interesting. Maybe she heard us speaking English. Is what it was beforehand. No, I don't. I don't think so. I think I think we walked in real quick to just ask about a bathroom or something like that. Yeah. I don't think we. I don't think we sat there. Or or actually, you went to the bathroom and I think I was trying to order or something like that. It was just like. It just came off kind of rude. That was kind of cool, though. And then I spoke English, and she understood that. In Italy. Yeah. Which is weird. It was cool, though, to basically rattle off, like, multiple languages. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I... I... You get what I'm saying? Like, we tried one language. We tried Spanish. It didn't work, and then we were then we went to English. <laughs> that's, that's kind of cool, you know? Like, yeah. they probably... If... I mean, how many... How would you think that an Italian would understand English before understanding Spanish? Like, to me, that seems insane. They probably have a lot more English tourists than they do Spaniards. I, th- I mean, yeah, maybe. I don't, I don't really know. Like, just from just the layout of what is Europe, yeah. I would think that they would speak Spanish before they spoke English. I don't know. You know, because, you know, the UK is completely, there's like an entire border of countries and shit before the UK. But, yeah, I mean, there's probably more there in the history and stuff like that. Do you think you could live in in uh, in Europe? Do you think you could live in Europe? Like in, in Italy or Spain? Like, not, not necessarily UK, because yeah, I think the UK is quite westernized. But do you think you could live in, like, Spain or, like, Italy or something like that? Like some farm in Russia? <laughs> farm in Russia? Yeah, like just a random farm in Russia. Well, no, no, no. I'm, uh, at least something more I hear, I hear. tangible that you could... Like, I feel like you could probably learn Italian easier than you could learn Russian, for example. <laughs> but do you think you could, though? Uh, it probably, I mean, it would take adjusting. I mean, I'm sure it could get done. I don't see why not. You know, they have all the same things. Do they, though? Yeah, toilet, shower. Plug. Well, the toilet, remember, the toilets that we used there. You used the my, bathroom, used. my bathroom. My bathroom Yours had, had seats? Oh, yeah, they kind of have to have seats, though, for girls, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Yeah, for the dudes, they did not have toilet seats. He had a squat and take I had shit. a squat. <laughs> it was fucking awful. And I had, like, diarrhea and shit. Oh, you got it all over the place, didn't you? I sure did, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so gross. Yeah, why would you want that? That's not even... I mean, you could, I guess, maybe argue that it's more sanitary. Because you mm. only get it on your shoes and you walk around on the, like, streets anyways. The gross, thing, though. the That's thing gross. about there is, uh, in Europe, one well, maybe, maybe, maybe it was just a tourist area because we we were at. But I did feel like every fucking place that we went to, you had to pay for something in order to use a restroom. Which it, was it's probably because of a touristy thing because like South that Beach is like too. that. Yeah. South yeah. Beach is like that. You can't just they have signs all over the place. You can't yeah, walk you here can't unless just, you're a customer. Yeah, there. yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's um when you have that type of foot traffic. I mean, it's it's harsh. Some fucking person who didn't even pay for anything in my business just clogged my toilet. That's fucking annoying. They had a Starbucks in Spain, right? Yes. That's fucking crazy. That's so weird, man. We went to a fucking Irish pub. In Spain? Yeah. Yeah. And they spoke English. We tried to speak to them in Spanish, and the guy was like, I don't fucking speak Spanish, dude. (laughs) Literally, that happened. (laughs) We we were you, we you at, said that yeah we were I think we were like speak Spanish mate <laughs> yeah exactly that's exactly how it was yeah <laughs> we're like funny. oh you speak English okay what's up thank goodness <laughs> look listen like, can we get the Man United game on this TV right here can you please give me like just me and him just two beers a pop let's go because this is ridiculous <laughs> that was funny though <laughs> we would too like the 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 from the f- bunch of places that we could go. In Spain, we went to a fucking Irish pub, but it's right. because we wanted to see this game, though. Yeah, it was right. We wanted yeah, to see we a game. Yeah, wanted to see yeah. a specific game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was. It was cool. Yeah. I that area like to go was back. really nice. That the yeah. hotel we got, it was a small room, but yeah, it was it only was for us. us too. It was fun. Yeah, it was us yeah. too. And then they had that weird um, window thing that you could open. Yeah. You yeah, you can walk out onto the roof basically. Yeah. 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 That shit was awesome. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah. You know what's funny is is that 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 convenience store too was right down like literally like Yo, right they, there and they, they had sold, liquor. They dude. sold Jaeger, and it was dude. cheap as fuck too, man. 
It was crazy. They're crazy. These Europeans are nuts. They're dude. just getting fucking N- wasted. No, no regulations. They're no like, regulations. hey, I'm gonna pick up um, body soap, some tampons, and uh, bodily. <laughs> but that that place didn't wasn't twenty four seven though. They closed at a certain I don't, time. I don't know. We bought it early enough where we didn't have to really think about that. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. That was that was so funny though. That was that was crazy. Honestly, that was crazy. I wish we would have gotten off and. Sp- no, I don't. I was so tired that day. Wait, what? We never remember. We never got off in France that day. Oh yeah, no. I mean, we it would have been nice. And getting to the mainland was interesting too, because they had those crazy like boats things yeah. that people. Because it wasn't just like a regular like speedboat with like a a motor. It was like a weird like bubble thing. It was weird. Dude, um, fuck that though, bro. Like fuck France. Like for real. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Fuck France, right? <laughs> oh, they yeah. probably would have just fucking been assholes to us the whole time. <laughs> I don't even know what city that was. Like Marcel, what, what... Oh, I believe. Man, they got that. They got that football club though. That's literally the only reason why I would want to go to France. It's just to check out the soccer shit. But that's it. I wouldn't give a fuck about anything damn, else. How close we were to the stadium and shit. Oh damn, we should have looked into that before nah, saying no. I'm I'm down. Like I'm totally down. What if we could have do... done? We we could have done a stadium tour. Just no, like what we, did we in should Barcelona. do for real is what we should do is we should go. We should plan a fucking trip to Spain when there's a when the season is on and go watch a fucking game. Obviously. And go yeah, and go to like go to the different go to Real Madrid. Or go Fuck to Madrid, that. I'm sorry, go to Madrid. Fuck that place. Barcelona. <laughs> um, fucking check out some I was dope places, man. Talking to my coworker. And we're both like, no, we have to do that before we drop dead. Like mm-hmm. for sure. It would be better if it was a classical, but you know, whatever. Being in Spain watching Barcelona. It was dope play. just to go to the stadium. I wrong. I wanted to touch the grass so bad. I know. I you should have done it. We would have gotten kicked out. Yeah, though. they would have gotten us kicked out. And then we wouldn't have seen the rest of it, which was awesome to well, see. Remember how the food was over there? What do you mean? It was just so much healthier. Remember that? The food was... In Spain. Like, less portions and just, like, more natural food. Yeah, even our Welsh waiter was like, no, you guys... Oh, you guys are American. So what I suggest is you guys each order, like, two appetizers apiece, <laughs> and then you guys can split it. <laughs> Uh, but that's how they serve their food. It's almost like uh, like they're, family style. They're tapas, basically, style. Well, tapas isn't a style. I thought tapas was a style. Tapas is like a specific way of serving. <laughs> <sighs> it it's amazing. like a it's like a thing. It's thought, like a it's like, that's the... like an actual meal. Are not you not, sure? not a meal. Like, it's like that's like a dish. That's like a dish. I thought tapas was like where you can get different things. Tapas is, is, they can be like uh, topped with different things, so you can get different type of type of tapas. But tapas is literally like, um, I, I don't want to say it's like a tostón because it's not like plantain, like it's not like like that. But it's like a, it's like a, a weird bowl thing. And Are you then, sure? Yeah. I'm pretty sure Look tapas is like a, just kind of like basically a, a style of eating food. No, it's not like family style. I don't know. You know family style We'll have to look it up later. But anyway, Just look it up right now. No, fuck you. Fuck you. No, fuck you. Fuck you. No, fuck you. No, fuck, no, fuck you. Hey, I'll fuck you. I'll fuck you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> um, yeah, that's kind of... <laughs> it, it just... It just... We're fat asses, dude. Well, Americans. That's Americans. I, mean. I didn't mean us too. Even though we can't eat, yeah, like, we fat are. Asses. No, I mean, we can eat so much food. But yeah, that's just being but, Hispanic as well, though. It is though. We like. We can eat so much food, we, Hispanic people. We like food. We like that's so like much instilled food. too, you know, like like young. It really is. Like my grandfather would literally tell me, like he would, my uncle. So okay, my grandfather and my uncle. Uh, yeah, it's here. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna pause it. So. My grandfather, <laughs> when I was young, um, I guess I, I I think I was kind of tentative or picky when I was young about eating food and stuff like that. And my grandfather would bring my uncle, Chi-Chi. Um, he would bring him in. And Chi-Chi was like really athletic and strong and stuff like that. You know, someone to look up to or whatever. 
he would bring him in and be, and he would tell him to to flex for me <laughs> where he'd, he'd tell him to flex like show me his bicep or whatever he's like He's like, look, you see his biceps? Th- this is from eating. So. <laughs> it's funny because it's not the case. It's not like... the case at all. But that was a way of like force, not forcing, but just kind of like persuading me to eat all my food. Yeah, yeah. No, it, and in a Hispanic family, you, leaving a empty plate is not a thing. Like a not empty plate, I guess, uh, is not a thing. Like you, you, you finish what's in front of you. Yeah. Even if your belly is not big enough to be fitting that. <laughs> yeah. And it's also rude like to, you, not to, to not eat like food that's been cooked for you basically yeah yeah and like saying no in general was not a thing no like, even if you eat. weren't hungry you just... my my grandfather's the one that got me into eating fucking mussels and all that stuff all that weird shit mm, no you know that's gross yeah he would eat them raw well not raw but they're they're, they're Boiled, steamed probably. or whatever yeah yeah that but you know he would just crack crack open the fucking the that's, oyster and then disgusting put some put some salt and some uh some lime lime yeah that's so gross. Dude, that's good though. I love it's that. It's disgusting. Shit. You're disgusting. I know. <laughs> that's it's like so bad. <laughs> but yeah, that trip to um to Europe was very interesting. It was um I definitely would prefer to like go back and just stay in Barcelona, you know. Yeah, not longer. Do, yeah, yeah, not do that cruise. I mean the cruise was great and I definitely gained like, you know, fifty pounds or something like that. So yeah, we drank a lot, I feel, right? Oh, my God. We also stuffed our face, yeah. like, a lot. <laughs> I feel like we, well, I guess we probably would have drank more if we, or not, yeah, no, we would have drank more if we had been able to drink hard liquor, because we were drinking wine and beer the whole time. Well, you know, you could argue that, because it takes more wine and beer to get you drunker takes less yeah that's what i'm saying liquor. yeah so we would have drank less if we had been able to drink hard liquor you no I, okay so i i guess yeah okay so you're saying i guess yeah. more in the Quantity. sense of like just because like i feel like at a point we were i think i was having cider the whole time as well i wasn't even having like regular beer i think i did have a couple regular beers but i think i was trying to stick to cider at that time because i wasn't really into beer that much just in general, like just it's hard you know, to the, drink the, a lot of beer. For the me. yeah, even now the I package feel. The, the package for wine and beer was cheaper than with than the liquor one. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It just was. Um, what do we got here? So we have a few dates confirmed. Well, we said that already. Actually, we did. Yeah, we did. February 8th. February eighth and the twenty third. Eighth is in Jacksonville at Rain Dogs, and the twenty third is in Atlanta. February eighth, eleventh. Oh, and eleventh at St. Augustine. That's right. Yeah, with Lassie. Yeah. Yeah, the eleventh. Which we're playing Georgia. with with Lassie January twelfth. In Miami at Space Mountain, along with Moongazer and with Pans, which we should try and put them on the podcast, one of them. That'd be cool. Oh, we should take this stuff down, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that'd dope. That, that, that would work. Um, But yeah, so besides that, we're just going to continue booking this tour, and then we're just going to keep booking, basically. And uh, hopefully we'll get some cool people on the podcast soon. Um, and, and, and I've been working on music with Serge who I want to get on the podcast as well again again but well just me and him this time to talk about our music cuz no one really knows what that's about and then uh in terms of our stuff we me and you or you and I rather worked on a on a song the other day that was or not the other day but last 2 weeks ago or whatever mm-hmm. which is on SoundCloud and that came out pretty cool Still don't have a name for it? Nope. Nor do I have lyrics for it either. So, so what he's saying? Complete bullshit. Don't listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's on SoundCloud and if you're interested in listening to that, fucking check that check that that out. But anyways, uh we're gonna go eat some food, so uh Ooh. hope you enjoyed the podcast though. Uh, we just wanted to keep you guys updated with what we're doing and uh let you know that we're not fucking dead, so enjoy. Go fuck yourselves. I'm going to have an arepa. Yeah. I don't think they know what that is. Explain. What? Explain. What do you mean they don't know what that is? An arepa? Explain. Explain. I don't know what an arepa is, to be perfectly honest with you, because it's not corn, so I don't know what to tell people it is. Mm. Uh, Uh, 
it's harina. It's harina. Yeah, but you can't. You gotta say it in, in English. I don't know dude. what I need. Harina Fucking is Mexican it? piece of shit. Yeah, no, I try. <laughs> All right, guys. It's delicious. Just try it. Put yeah, cheese look it up. on it. Look it up on Google. Yeah. We love you guys. Peace, and we will try and record another podcast for next week. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>